My name's Richard Thorne, I'm an artist. Um, I was born in Torquay, close to the sea and close to Dartmoor, so influence, so my references came from nature and the sea and the landscape. When I was at school I learned to play the guitar and uh, subsequently became a, a jazz musician after many years of going through many different changes. But art has always been my primary natural sort of uh, leaning really um, and talent. When I started painting I, I had no idea what really Impressionism meant. I just knew that these paintings that I saw, I wanted to kind of try and emulate. So it really basically started off from that premise. And then over the years, that really hasn't changed. I still regard myself as an Impressionist painter. But the modern styles and modern techniques, especially with watercolour, have been my primary sort of interest in developing those to create the kind of paintings that I see in my head. The reason why I started painting, I believe, is that it was an antidote to the sort of rather turbulent household that I was living in. My parents weren't having a very good relationship. And so for me, drawing, it was a, a way out. It was an antidote to that. And I'd lost myself in painting. So it was very therapeutic and quite sort of healing, really, in a way, because um, I was just in my own little world, you know. <laughs> had some good galleries support me and promote me and um, some very good exhibitions and my work seems to sell regularly so I've, I've been very lucky in that respect that I've been able to live quite comfortably. The older I get the better my paintings get I think and um, I can charge more money for them so I can actually sell less but make the same amount of money. So. It's been swings and roundabouts. Sometimes, you know, I've had exhibitions that have sold nothing, and um, other times when it's been really good. So you just can't tell. It's a very, very volatile kind of market, um, especially, and you know, any artist will tell you that it's difficult. <laughs> but I, I, again, I've been lucky, so. As a child I was quite lucky in as much as I was born near the sea and quite near to Dartmoor which is um, for me was kind of this wonderland that didn't have any kind of time to it um, in terms of modernity. It seemed to have bags of history just looking at it and of course it's rugged and uh, I got a lot of inspiration. We used to go up there with the family on weekends or whatever, and it was fantastic, you know, the, the kind of um, rugged rurality of it, um, and the rivers and the trees. And that was a real inspiration, and as was the sea. Um, both, you know, places inspired me to um, draw upon those as subject matter. Somehow, like any art or any skill or any craft, I suppose, the impetus to keep going is to create better work. And sometimes uh, society has got, or the art world or whatever, has different ideas about how your career is going to go. And um, sometimes it can be pretty depressing. Um, and it, kind of makes you want to give up, but I never do. I can't. <laughs>